the last film that I've chosen is Something Wild, which is the most recently made, although even that is about 25 years ago, uh, of the films on my list of ten. It is not, I think, another film that would uh, figure with many other people. Um, and uh, Jonathan Demme has won two Oscars. Uh, the first was one for the film version of The Silence of the Lambs and the second one from uh, for um, Philadelphia. Uh, so he is very much respected b by uh, the, the American filmmaking unit, but he is a New York-based person uh, as far as I know, he has never lived in California. He was he, he was born in New York State in, on Long Island, um, and I think that is, is where he still lives. Uh, but um, so he differs very much from the uh, standard type of American filmmaker, in that he is very distinctly New York based, and uh, that. Uh, California is not his natural habitat, which I think gives him a, a, a slightly different angle on the sort of films that he's made, uh, and, and films are not by any manner of means his only occupation. Um, he's a writer, he's a producer, uh, and uh, he, he has, I think, uh, family also in the uh, entertainment business. But uh, he made his mark in 1980 uh, with a film called Melvin and Howard, which was about uh, a petrol pump attendant and his relationship with Howard Hughes. Um, and he has always been offbeat in the choice of subject. What I like particularly about Something Wild is that it is not just a film, uh, I am sure that he was also in charge of the publicity for it and that the uh, uh, the posters and indeed a lot of the uh, other paraphernalia uh, at the time of its release were all suggesting that it was a wacky comedy, which it is to begin with, uh, but it changes course very dramatically, uh, but very imperceptibly as the film unwinds. I think it's a fascinating and intriguing film and um, in his, his two lead actors he has the ideal people to uh, put over his own surprising and original ideas. I think it's a very very fine film and uh, it's a pity that uh, his filmmaking activities seem to have declined but I suppose he's going to be 70 next year and uh, the, the, the films are a young people's business.